Back at CES in January of 2023, AMD said the 7040 and 7045X mobile processors were now going to start becoming available in select devices, which by itself isn't really that exciting. I don't really care. But there was an intriguing part of that announcement, something they called Ryzen AI technology, which they described as dedicated AI hardware on the x86 processor, which is certainly neat, I guess, but without some form of demos or more concrete information about what it's actually doing, it's basically just vaporware. And a few months later in June, this GitHub page is made public, originally called Cloud to Client Demo, now expanded to be more of a general hub for everything you need to know about this tech with things like examples, demos, tutorials, along with references for how, you know, this actually all works. But the original demo is still available, that being the cloud to client demo. This is a really interesting example. So the idea here is when you want to normally search for an image on your system, you'll do it through, you know, file name, file extension, modification date, and things like that. Instead of doing that, what you could do is search through images in more of a search engine-like fashion, where you search for characteristics in the image. Say you have a bunch of pictures of cats, for example, but none of them have cat in the title. Well, if you use some form of magical AI model, you can then search based on, I want all of the images, of cats. And whilst this is very much a toy example, this integrated into an actual file manager could be a really interesting feature. I would love to show you these demos running locally, but there are two main problems here. Problem number one is a pretty big one that I can't get around. I don't have this tech. I don't have one of these laptops. But even if I did have one of them, running the demo would be a a little bit of a pain. So let's have a look at their propaganda page, better known as the marketing page. AMD Ryzen AI, Windows laptops with AI built in. Together we advance AI, the future of Windows laptops starts now. Introducing AMD Ryzen AI, the world's first built-in AI engine on select x86 Windows laptops and the only integrated AI engine of its kind. Let's just forget the fact that a lot of the AI work is done with CUDA. So if we just spin the marketing a certain way and we call it a certain thing, that's technically true. But only technically. The AI-powered future of Windows devices. Advance your PC experience with AMD Ryzen AI and Windows Studio effects. Now, the reason why I said propaganda page and the reason why I think this is such a great marketing page is... It doesn't really say anything. A lot of this page is just complete fluff that if it was deleted, nothing of value would be lost. I also love this part of the FAQ. Will my laptop with AMD Ryzen AI become outdated quickly? Thanks to its advanced next-gen technologies, its capabilities can advance and improve over time. What does that mean? I don't know. It's really good marketing spin though. Along with including this great marketing video that I've muted because I don't know if the music is DMCAable, but let's have a look at it. A new era of laptops has arrived with AI technology built in. Present your best self. So this is basically showing like AI eye corrections. So you're not looking at the camera, but it can like move your eyes over so you death stare into the camera and never look away because we know that everybody wants that. Tech generation, you know, the stuff that everybody cares about and Beautiful, beautiful AI generated graphics. Like, what are we showing here? I don't know, but I love it nonetheless. Like, this is perfect. You don't need to say anything. Doesn't matter how it works. Nothing. AI good. You love AI. Anyway, back to the main point. The underlying tech, what they've based this on, does have support on Linux, but AMD's implementation, no Linux support at all. And as should be expected, the second issue in the repo is Linux, question mark. Just for fun, I wanted to see what the first issue was, and for some reason it redirects to the first pull request. 
I don't know why, but it's actually like fixing a feature. Some people don't want to use the mouse, they want to press enter. Great feature, should have been there from the start. Uh, but this one's the more important one. And all the first post does is links to the Pharonix article about this not having Linux support. And when I was planning this video, this had 1200 thumbs ups, which was already an absolute ton for a GitHub issue. This is a day later, it's close to 1500 now, and I have zero doubts that this is going to keep getting more and more popular. Now the demo itself isn't actually open source. Yes, it's on GitHub, but that's for the UI and for the API to the model. The parts that are actually doing the complex AI things, all of that is proprietary, but even so, that does not matter. If we're talking about some form of new compute tech, this should have Linux near the forefront. AMD has been dropping the ball on Linux for so long now. They have let NVIDIA completely control compute on Linux. CUDA is the only thing that really matters. Yeah, Rockham exists, but Rockham doesn't really support any consumer hardware, and if it does, it's not documented. This is peak consumer device. This isn't some like weird specialized laptop that only certain people are going to buy. This is mainstream laptops. Not many right now because they've just started deploying it, but mainstream laptops are going to have this tech. Providing this support would ensure seamless integration with the Linux ecosystem, promoting open interoperability and enabling users to maximize the potential of AMD's AI technologies. Embracing Linux would not only expand your user base, but also foster a more inclusive and collaborative technological environment. Not being jailed at Microsoft shouldn't even be a debate. Now, for some reason, one of the contributors on this repo Close this issue as complete. That was done back in June. No idea why. I don't really get it because it wasn't complete. Nothing had actually been done. Now, over on a completely separate issue, another person asked about Linux support. And this is what one of the developers had to say. The Linux question was asked here, linking back to that original issue. I cannot personally comment on this apart from to say that the initial focus is very much on Windows. However, I just cross-linked your comments to that original issue, doing so right here. Along with another person saying, can you reopen this ticket? Maybe change the title and etc. As I understand, it's a Xilinx device and we already have a driver, but maybe we should extend it a little. It's unclear if they're doing things slightly differently than like the main way, so obviously you might have to modify the driver specifically for this device. I understand that this specific demo is designed for Windows, but we can create the same thing for Gwenview, for example, from KDE Desktop. So he reopened the issue, reopening issue so that customers can log their Linux requests. And there has been a couple of requests. Now, GitHub likes to flatten things, so, you know, it doesn't look that long. But there's a lot of comments. And this is one of the very rare times I've seen a developer basically encouraging plus one comments. Someone said, ETA when Linux, can I help some how wow? This is a mess of a sentence. The more weight behind this request, the faster it is likely to come to fruition. And most people don't have anything to say. So all they say is, plus one, over and over and over again, with a couple of comments like this strewn in between. Slightly amazing this isn't already being done. Developers in the AI space are very engaged in Linux as a development platform. We do almost all of our development on Linux, and if not Linux, then on Mac. While we don't use Windows, we have partners and customers who do, with the caveat that it's mostly WSL. There are a lot of scientists and tech-savvy people who use and love Linux and would love to buy AMD hardware for things like this, like they've been buying NVIDIA for years because they needed to use CUDA. Developing for Linux and open source can lead to competitive advantages. This is a no-brainer AMD. Why do you think Microsoft is leveraging Linux with WSL and open source with GitHub? Others have also pointed out that NVIDIA and Intel are already leveraging Linux for AI. Nice of you to ask the community, but 
why did you have to? And that part I completely agree with. Yeah, it's nice to get community feedback about something like this. But why bother? Like, why are you asking a community with a lot of developers if they would like this development demo to actually be available? Yes, of course they want that. Just go and do it. I know the initial focus are these consumer-facing, Windowsy features, but even so, so many developers exist on Linux as a platform. To not have something like this available from the start makes absolutely no sense. And eventually someone chimes in who says they're from an AI research lab. We are about 50 people at the lab, everybody uses Linux. More than half use AMD laptops, some are stuck with NVIDIA because of CUDA. Even though we are now eyeing at a solution in which we have AMD laptops and NVIDIA desktops for CUDA development, our cluster is already full NVIDIA for large-scale CUDA experiments, the thing to remember is that no technology is used by any interesting algorithm or proof of concept if the researchers do not have easy access to the technology. Researchers are regular people and mostly buy consumer hardware. To give an idea, at my lab, spending 1500 euros on hardware per year is considered a lot. Universities have money for salaries, not hardware. I think that AMD is making two critical mistakes. Firstly, not supporting consumer hardware with Rockham. This to me is the saddest thing. Most university labs do not have the budget for 10k plus servers for a company that is not recognized in the market. So anything not Nvidia. Even 50k machines are okay at the university level, but not for individual labs, and only Intel plus Nvidia. Anything else is vetoed by the administration. We the researchers have to do everything with consumer hardware, be it laptops or desktops. And not having Rockham on these simply means we don't use Rockham, don't try PyTorch Rockham, don't optimize code for Rockham, etc. Secondly, not supporting Linux for something as possibly groundbreaking as Ryzen AI. Every robot runs on Linux. Imagine interesting small moving devices, smart vacuum cleaners, or other kinds of things that we build for a few hundred euros using consumer hardware, small Ryzen motherboards and processors included. And that would run Linux and use Ryzen AI. That would be, I hope, something much more interesting than what Nvidia currently does with Tegra, because the CPU part is weak compared to AMD CPUs. And we could keep doing this all day. There are so many more comments here, and so many people that are just saying, why are you asking this question? Just go and do it. Don't let this be, oh, we'll get around to, oh, we're going to fix this 10 years later. No, just go and fix it. Actually bring the support and have some form of competition with NVIDIA, because they certainly need it. But what do you guys think? Do you think this matters whatsoever? Would you like something like this to be available on Linux? Or do you think it just makes more sense to just give up and let Nvidia control everything? I would love to know. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become a one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon scribes LiberaPay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and... I don't want to have to buy an NVIDIA card. Please don't make me.